Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. As promised, I wanted to jump on here and do a video breakdown of my blog post of the CVS transaction scenario idea that I posted for November 11th through November 17th. As usual, these are just suggestions. This is a smaller transaction that I did. Um, obviously, my CVS haul yesterday was a lot larger, but this is just an idea of something that you can do that's not quite as large. Now, I have been getting a little bit of a negative reaction. I'm assuming it's from my new subscribers because of the way I coupon. The way that I coupon isn't the same as the way you're going to coupon because I can use expired CVS coupons, expired manufacturer coupons within reason. But my point is to show you what I did and you need to take away from it what you can. So if you feel yourself getting irritated or reacting negatively to my transactions or my hauls or whatever, I strongly encourage you to watch this video. We need to talk about a few things, dot, 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 1029. And that is my all-inclusive response to anyone who doesn't agree with the way that I coupon. I'm simply showing you what I did and what I'm able to do. Hopefully you will take away from it what you can do or what you want to do. Obviously, you're not going to want to buy the same things as me. And we're all getting different coupons, different Redbox coupons. These are This is just what I do. And I'm showing you so that you could take away something from it, okay? Um, you definitely have to fit things to suit to suit your needs, okay? Um, and I'm showing you because I feel like if I hold back, if I take things out, that I feel like I'm being dishonest. I want to show you exactly what I did, and if you can't do it exactly the same, you need to figure out a way that you can do it, okay? Um, iCoupon for us, Kim, had a great idea about shouting out little or known YouTubers to kind of get their ball rolling. I think that's a fantastic idea. I've totally been where you've been. So, in this video, I'm going to shout out two, but I'll try to shout out at least one in each video thereafter. The two that I'm shouting out today are Pink Lady Alley. She is geared more towards beginner couponers. And Two Little Dolls, she's been couponing for about two years now, but she has just started on YouTube. I think between the two of these ladies that they offer a lot to a wide variety of couponers on different levels. They're very charming, very easy to watch, and I definitely suggest that you go check them out. Okay, also I've been having questions about my blog. In my description box of every video, I post the link to the blog, islandcoupongal.blogspot.com. It's always in the video description box. Even if you can't click on the link, you can definitely type that in. I am not a true blogger. Let me preface that by saying I use my blog to get out information to you that I can't do in my YouTube videos. Maybe I don't have time um, to do a video on it. Maybe I ran out of time. Sometimes I take pics that I want to share with you. Sometimes I come up with some ideas that... I don't necessarily do an entire video about, but this is just my tool to get an additional um, bit of information to you guys. But if you're looking for somebody that posts deals every day for every single store, that's not me. I'm definitely not a true blogger. This is just the tool I use to get out more information to you in a timelier fashion. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into the haul. What I suggest picking up is one Vario IQ meter at $64.99. They're $5 off retail, so my regular price is $69.99 at my store. Hopefully yours is about the same, so $5 off retail. We're picking up the AccuCheck Nano at $19.99. That's regular price. Two of the Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste, they're on sale for $2.75 each, so two of them will total you $5.50, and you get a $2 ECB when you buy one with a limit of two. We're picking up the fragrance gift set. Now, I suggested one at $29.99 because we have to hit that spend $25 to get five back. I saw several sets that ranged in price as low as $9.99, then they jumped to $19.99, then jumped to $29.99, and as high as $32 and $42.99. So choose one that you definitely want. I'm just suggesting the price point of $29.99. Two of the Nivea lotions at $7.49 each totals you $14.98. You get a $5 ECB when you buy two. As I mentioned in my video, I picked up the wrong sizes, so definitely be mindful of your sizes. Now, in addition, if you don't want to choose these items, you can also make a small money maker with the Q10 firming lotions. Those are $10.99, so two of them would total you $29, I'm sorry, $21.98. This is a limit of one. So if you choose to do it this way, you have to adjust your math accordingly. But just to break down this deal by itself, you could use a 4 off 20. The percent off coupon would apply to $17.98 because you have to deduct the $4 from the 4 off 20. 25% of that is $4.49. Use your $3 off 2. 
I'm sorry, $3 off one printable for the Q10 product. Looks like this. It's on coupons.com. Use two of those. And your $3 off two Redbox coupons. So you have $17.49 in coupons for those items, which means for that deal alone, you'll pay $4.49 and get back five, which makes it a small money maker. However, some people have already used their coupons at Walgreens and um, they don't have the same price point of the Q10 firming lotion. So I went ahead with the less expensive ones, but obviously fit this in if those are items that you want. Um, and then just manipulate your math accordingly. We're also going to pick up two of the optimal solutions if you got the rain check price of $9.99. That would total you $19.98. Now, if you didn't, um, definitely pick up something to bulk your total to fill in for this total for $19.98. Um, you could always pick up the BIC. If you got the rain check for buy one, get one half off, there are items that are $3.99 for the first one, $1.99 for the second one, which totals you $5.98. This BOGO coupon auto deducts $7.49. So that would give you overage, okay? And it would help bulk your total. But this coupon expires 11 11 which is today. So that's why I didn't put that into this scenario and in case you didn't get the rain check. Also, if you didn't get the Optimal Solutions rain check, the Centrum Flavor Burster buy one, get one half off for the 120 count. The first one's $12.79, and the second one is $6.39. So that totals you $19.18, which is a few cents shorter than this. So you'd have to fill in with something else, like maybe the Palmer's Lip Balm at $1.99. We have a $2 PDF printable. Makes that free. For the Centrum, we also have the $3 Manufacture Coupons, as well as the $4 red box coupon so that's another cheap item that you could use to fill in if you didn't get the optimal solutions try to hit some freebies that give you that price point pick up a cinnamon toast crunch for 197 four of the revlon single eyeshadows i believe they're the diamond lust version they're 549 each and that'll total you 2196 so we've spent 10 to get back four two times it's a limit of six for that promotion so basically we've spent 20 to get back eight I put this on the blog. I'm going to go ahead and fix that after this video. Don't redeem the rain check. Well, I suggest not redeeming the rain check for buy one, get one half off because at regular price, the 25% off coupon will apply. And also the math just doesn't work out properly. I did it last night, but I'm suggesting to hold on to that BOGO 50% rain check. We're going to pick up six of the Lumine Vitamin C Plus. There's a toner and a cleanser at the 1190, I'm sorry, the 1129 price point. Six of those will total you $67.74, so we've spent $60. It's spent $30, get back $10, limit $14, so now we'll get back $20 for spending $60. Now, the reason we want to get all of these is because we're using the percent off coupon, and the more that we get, the more that it'll take off. If you do them in separate transactions, then obviously your percent off coupon only applies to one transaction. Also, I found these items, the Vitamin C Plus BB Cream. That's regular price $14.99. So this is another option of a product that still is going to give you a nice hefty total towards your spend 30. And the coupons would all still apply to it. You could pick up one of the Derma Silk at $29.99. You get a $10 extra buck back when you buy one. One of the Olay Daily Facial Cloths, they're on sale for $3.99. One of the Poise products, there's a couple of different ones. There's some kind of cooling gel. Uh, cooling wipes, maybe that was the cooling wipes, rather, the panty fresheners, and the feminine wash. They're $3.99, and you get back $1.50 extra buck when you buy one. One of the Colgate multi-packs, it's like the double pack of toothpaste. They're regular price, $6.89. This should say Colgate Advanced Multi-Pack, and there's a reason I want you to pick up that one, and I'll tell you why in a minute. You get a $2 extra buck when you buy one. And then one of the Gillette Pro Glide razors at $9.99, you get a $4 extra buck when you buy one limit one. So our subtotal is $301.95. I know it seems high, but relax, we're going to get there, okay? So because our subtotal is over $300, we could use 15 of the 4 off 20s. Now, I know that seems intimidating. So if you got the 10 off 50s, obviously you could use up to 6 of those in this transaction because our subtotal is 300. Whichever you decide to use, um Using the appropriate coupons to cover the $300 is going to give you $60 off, whether you use 6 of the 10 off 50s or 15 of the 4 off 20s or a combination of the two. That's $60 off your total. Use your $30 off any Vario IQ manufacturer coupon found at Walgreens. It is a manufacturer coupon. It is going to beep because it exceeds $10, but that's the only reason why it beeps. It is a valid coupon, as is the $40 Vario IQ CVS coupon. It's going to beep because it exceeds $10, but these stacked together is totally valid. So that's $70 for an item that costs $64.99. That's going to give you $5.01 in overage in and of itself. 
the $10 AccuCheck Nano Manufacturer Coupon. That came out, I believe, in the 729 Red Plum. Um, you can use one of those to give you $10 off. And also the $10 AccuCheck CVS Coupon. Now, you might be asking me why I'm not putting more of these to bulk our total up more. These CVS coupons state limit one per customer, which means if you use multiples in the same transaction, they're going to beep. Your CVS may not push them through, so I just erred on the side of caution and only did one of each. Obviously, if you have a rain check for the AccuCheck at $9.99, go ahead and pick up two of those instead. To total the $19.99, you get an additional $10 in overage, but that second $10 CVS coupon will probably beep and have to be pushed through. Two of the dollar off any Colgate Max Fresh manufacturer coupon, two of those will total you $2. Looks like this is from the Reinventing Beauty magazine. If you do not have this coupon, I believe that there are 75 cent coupons and that came out today that are valid for the Max Fresh. I actually added one of those 75 cent coupons later on in the transaction because we bought the Colgate Total Advanced Multi Pack. But if you have the Reinventing Beauty coupons, two of these will total you $2. Now, I didn't add this in the breakdown, but if you have this Redbox coupon for a dollar off two select Colgate items, you could use it. Um, I did not factor it in, so that'll just give you an additional dollar off your transaction. The 5 off 25 fragrance purchase Redbox coupon. Now, originally, I had this total at $3.05 and change. I added in some Palmers and some of the Essence of Beauty products. Because this coupon does not stipulate that you cannot combine it with the 4 off 20, we're good, okay? It doesn't beep. It scans through fine. Usually, um, if it says down here, cannot be combined with other purchase-based coupons, i.e. 4 off 20, that would mean in order to use this with the 4 off 20, you would have to spend 45 to get $9 off. However, because it doesn't state it, you don't have to. Therefore, it goes through perfectly fine. So I went ahead and kept the transaction, or I'm sorry, I manipulated the transaction so that you could use 15 of these as well as your 5 off 25, okay? You're also going to use your $3 off 2 Nivea Manufacturer Coupon. Be mindful of the sizes again. Usually these coupons state 1.7 ounce through 16.9 ounce. I don't know why they, you know, bulked the restriction on there, but they did. So definitely be mindful. Again, if you want to substitute those items, for the Q10 products and use two of your $3 printables, go ahead and manipulate your math. We're also going to use the $3 off to Nivea Redbox coupon. I don't have one to show you because I used mine already. We're also using two of the $5 off any Optimal Solutions Redbox coupons to give you $10 off. Obviously, if you did not get the rain check for the Optimal Solutions, fill this, these coupons, the Redbox, as well as the manufacturer coupons, fill those in with your appropriate coupons. Maybe it's for the Bic, maybe it's for the Centrum Flavor Bursts, okay? We're using a 50 cent printable on the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think there's a 60 cent printable as well, but I didn't find it, so you might wanna use that if you can find it. Four of the $1 Revlon Cosmetic Manufacturer Coupons. There are several, some came from the insert, some are tear pads. That'll total you $4. One $3 off any Revlon Cosmetic Purchase Redbox Coupon. I used mine, as I said. We're going to use six of these $4 Lumine Manufacturer Coupons. Now, these are the ones that do not have the restriction of limit one per customer. So you can go ahead and use six of them. That'll total you $24. If you do not have them, definitely find those on the clam. Um, they have this printable that does not have the restriction on it. They also have this PDF printable that doesn't have the graphics and it doesn't have the restriction. So four of those will total you, I'm sorry, six of those will total you $24. Now, you should be able to use six of these $2 CVS coupons, but after the first one is scanned, because these ones state limit one coupon per customer, the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth coupons, those are all going to beep because the ones in the Reinventing Beauty magazine as well as the diabetes booklets, when they state limit one per customer, that basically means one per transaction. Any more than that, they are going to beep. So you may have to get them to push those through. If they are not willing to push through those extra five coupons, your subtotal is going to be $10 higher, okay? Again, we're trying to do it all in one because of the percent off coupon. Also use the $10 Derma Silk Manufacturer Coupon. Again, that PDF is available on the clam. If you have the $5 expired Redbox coupon and you're able to use it, go ahead, but I did not factor it in. The dollar off any Olay Cleanser Manufacturer Coupon, the $3 off any Olay Cleanser Redbox Coupon. The dollar off Poise Manufacturer Coupon, there's one that came out in the insert that expires on the 24th. This one that came out in the Reinventing Beauty magazine, that is also a manufacturer coupon. It's not CVS. You can't stack the two of them together. Just an FYI, it's one or the other. 
We're also using a 75 cent off the Colgate toothpaste manufacturer coupon for the multi-pack and the dollar off any Colgate advanced CBS coupon that came out in the diabetes home mailer. Also use a $4 off any Gillette ProGlide manufacturer coupon. Our 25% off coupon is going to apply to give us $32.88. We have $191.54 in non-sale items. We have to subtract our $60 in CBS coupons. Not the CBS manufacturer coupons, but just the CBS coupons, which is $131.54. 25% of that is $32.88. So our total coupons is $278.13. You're going to pay $23.82 and get back $59.50 in ECBs. Plus, because we spent $168.65, we'll get back $15 in Beauty Club, which makes that a $50.60 moneymaker. Obviously, $10 more will have to be added if you can't use all six Lumine coupons. We have the dollar off two Colgate Red Box, the $5 Lumine Red Box, the $5 Dermasilk Red Box. Those have not been factored in because they're expired, but you can use them if your store allows. Any rain checks you have will increase your moneymaker. Gillette, Dermasilk, Lumine. The fragrance, spend 20, get 8. The Nivea, buy 2, get 5. And the Revlon, buy 2, get 7, or buy 2, get 5. Those are all going to increase your moneymaker. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.